when we plan for trips like businesses, vacations, medical trips and so on. We always tend to overlook one very essential aspect of trip planning and 70% of Nigerian travelers are corporates. Once our passports and visas are ready, ticket booked, off we go. This is Maritala Mohamed International Airport, Nigeria gateway to the world. And I'm here to check on travelers who are checking out to find out best. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How okay. are you? Very well. Thank you. Where are you going to? I'm going to Japan. I'm going to the UK, Birmingham to be precise. America, Texas. Okay. You're going to Canada. Mm -hmm. Reside in the Republic of Ireland. Travel to Italy. I'm traveling to Turkey. But there's always one very important document that we always seem to neglect. And that is travel insurance. Don't go away. It's not the most exciting topic, but many of you have been asking me, do I really need it? Yes, yes, and yes. 70% of Nigeria travelers do not insure their trips, but some do. The most interesting question here now is, how covered are you really? Let's go put it to test. Do you buy travel insurance? No, I don't. Do you buy travel insurance when you travel? <clears throat> Often a while, yes, I do. Like yeah. travel insurance? Yeah, I do. In some travelings, I buy travel insurance because it is necessary to buy. Like in the European Union countries, it is mandatory for anybody going into European countries to buy travel insurance. You have all this luggage? No, I just have two. Do you buy travel insurance whenever you're traveling? Yeah, I do buy travel insurance. I buy my ticket over there. Andrew Guavo is a frequent flyer and he says he does buy. Often a while, yeah. what do you mean? Uh, sometimes I don't bear, at times I do. Basically, when I know I'm traveling very far, like a trip from London to Nigeria, I do bear. For a short trip, I don't normally. You no, know they have different types of travel insurance, so mm. which one do you buy? Normally, I go for the one that, that's always attached to my ticket, which is not too expensive. From the airline? From the airline, yeah. You don't insure your luggage or maybe insure, uh, do medical? Uh, no, 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 no. And when I asked Demola what type of travel insurance he purchased, he says he doesn't know. The company I went through to get my ticket insured me. So what travel insurance did they give to you? Uh, honestly, I didn't check the name <laughs> and all that. Do you travel often? Yeah, I do. You lost your baggage before? I've you just been lucky. Nah, I've just been lucky. Mrs. Adeumi is traveling to visit her children and her husband made the ticket purchase. But you don't know whether they bought you travel insurance. <laughs> you don't know about it. Yes, I don't even know. She's your wife. Yeah. She doesn't know if she has travel insurance because you processed her papers. Yeah. Did you buy travel insurance for her? I believe it's already in, incorporated in the, in the ticket. It's not. Well, it's I'm not, not aware of it. You're simply sending her over there with nothing. In case of the lost baggage, if she loses her baggage or they cancel her trip. Or I sick. believe it's already incorporated into this because there's a column where it is written insurance. It and I believe it is uh, it's compulsory. It doesn't cover you. My advice they have travel agents, uh, insurance brokers, and some insurance companies that cater for travel insurance. It's not actually that expensive, okay? You can insure her luggage all the things she's taking to your children okay. and then you can ensure for trip cancellation in case if there's a disruption which we don't have here at least she can be protected i can assure you that when you buy that travel or buy that ticket from your airline you may not be covered for things you actually think you are covered. I think it covers my baggage loss and change of flight, just those two. It's very important to have travel insurance. Even like, for example, when I'm traveling around Europe, I have my travel insurance that cover my, even my head, in case of any accidents, the insurance I'm covered, the hospital bills. If I have any valuable goods on my luggage, I'm covered, I don't have to worry about that. You know, so insurance is very important. People need to really understand the concept and the necessity of whatever they are doing. It is necessary that you buy, but many times you find our travelings here are mostly impromptu. Let's find out the reason why Nigerian travellers do not invest in travel insurance. You will be surprised. Now why aren't you buying? People don't care. I know the importance, but most of the companies are not really responding positively. Even with the basic insurance that we are doing, when you have a problem, it becomes another issue to get uh, what you want at the appropriate time. It's good, honestly, to do. 
especially for travel. There are some insurance companies here, like they are not honest. If you know what I mean? So people just say, ah, what's the point? If I'm traveling around, around Europe, I get my travel insurance. I know that wherever if I call the insurance company, they are there. They answer me straight away. Oh my god, so I think that is the thing. We just have to change our way of doing things in this country. That is that trust. That is what we need. You know, integrity. Because of what is happening in Nigeria, I don't know which one is real and which one is fake. Because they don't educate people about travel insurance. But I know travel insurance is very good for we travelers. It's very good to secure our luggage, to secure our things and all the rest. Mm. But I don't know anything about it here in Nigeria. They don't advertise, they don't tell me anything about it. Maybe they need to educate people more about travel insurance. And there are several reasons why you should buy travel insurance alongside your travel. For instance, and unforeseen circumstances. It will also protect you in case if anything bad happens or if something goes wrong. There is need for people to be sensitized. If you are promoting a company or whatever, these people have to come out and sensitize the issue of making this trouble. And even the government, maybe, might say it is, it is mandatory for you to do this and that when you, are, when you are traveling. And I think it's very important for a traveler to have that because it solves a lot of problems. I believe there should be more sensitization concerning this, more informed. Because not everybody is aware of what you are talking about. As far as I'm concerned, when I travel, when I purchase tickets, <laughs> the insurance is already incorporated. That is my belief, honestly. I would love to see the travel insurance, the company in Nigeria. Actually. I would like them to uh, educate the Nigeria public how important it is to have travel insurance. So, you know, I mean, to build that confidence, do you understand? That is what we really need. I believe that, uh, I mean, many Nigerians have the money. They can afford it, but, you know, I mean, they can afford it, but they don't know the importance of having it, and they don't even know how to get it. You know, they don't know where to get the information from. I mean, it's for your own good anyway, so hopefully next time when I'm coming away. Now, we believe that whatever happens is from Allah or it's from God, but there is now a concept of Islamic, uh, a concept of doing insurance. So already we have started working in, uh, in northern Nigeria, in Kano particularly, to sensitize that aspect so that we can be able to, to protect ourselves, our people. When they are traveling, if there is any problem, you have something to fall back on. Travel insurance is an essential part of trip planning. In fact, don't leave home without it.